Um, I went in student life at Dallas University um, and had the privilege to uh, co facilitate um, with Jennifer and Jake um, the, the dentistry process last year and with so wonderful uh, students and faculty. Um, so, our next group of panelists will continue to explore a restorative approach to climate and culture, but will focus on this ongoing work on university and college campuses. Can you speak into the mic, please? Sorry. Technical difficulties with our new setup. <laughs> Canvases are dynamic places that people gather to learn, educate, work, and live in relationship with each other and with the institution. They're a site of development, growth, possibility, and transformation. These centers of excellence have the potential to create culture and shape the leaders of tomorrow for the betterment of all. These are very powerful aims. However, all over the world, examples and our own experiences have shown us that these spaces are also particularly vulnerable to harm and trauma, and that our students are at risk. Sexual violence, discrimination, inequality, and harassment are all intersecting issues profoundly impacting our campus communities. Of course, these issues exist everywhere, they're socially embedded off campus and on. Yet, I would argue that, this, that as sites of education and transformation, universities and colleges have a particular obligation and responsibility to make a difference and to work towards social justice. As institutions, we have a responsibility to build just and healthy communities, communities of belonging and safety where students can learn and grow contribute and thrive. The issues we are speaking about can be challenging and complex. Addressing these issues can be even more so. We know that adversarial campus processes responding to violence and harassment can be experienced as harmful by those very individuals we are trying to support. We also know that, like the criminal processes that Lee described, they have not had the desired effect in terms of changing culture creating healthier relationships, and preventing occurrences of violence, or in making more equal communities. Our panel this afternoon, comprised of experts from both the US and Canada, will share with us their insights on restorative possibilities and strategies to respond to harm and to shift campus culture. Donna Coker is a professor of law at the University of Miami School of Law. And she will speak about the transformative potential of restorative approaches for individuals and relationships after an incident of gender violence. David Karp is a professor of sociology and director of the Project on Restorative Justice at Skidmore College. David will explore the, explore the contrast between adversarial conduct processes and how they have a chilling effect, lowering reporting, creating hostile climates, and on a restorative approach, with a restorative approach, that can better meet students' needs and improve climate. Jake McIsaac, Community Safety Officer with Dalhousie University, will discuss restorative approaches to campus safety, and particularly moving a campus security services team from a transactional to a transformative service model. Karen Crombie, General Counsel at Dalhousie University, will consider how institutions can use policy to create space for restorative approaches, rather than potentially acting as a barrier. Thank you very much to our speakers.